Hey guys, it's Joe with Modern Survival Sense. Uh, before you is a Heatmate kerosene heater that we use to heat our house. Um, I, wanted to, I wanted to do this video to help others out there that may not be aware of this. When I first came across this heater, this had already been used a couple of times. And this is actually my, my father's heater and he wasn't able to get the heater running again. Now, through his research, it said, you know, maybe you need to replace the wick and whatnot. But I actually found out what the issue was with uh, his heater. One of the things you may have noticed when you run these kerosene heaters is if you ever end up shutting the thing off without all of the fuel being ran out of it, the wick ends up being becoming charred. And by charred, I mean the very top of the wick where the kerosene is burnt from is actually hard crusted in black and basically it makes it uh, damn near impossible to relight basically you have to take a wire brush and brush it uh, brush the wick or the top of the wick to break up that carbon buildup because there's no other way you're going to get this get the kerosene heater to light so what i'm going to go ahead and do is open this up for you guys and let you see what my wick looks like I've taken the four screws out that hold the top on and what I'm going to show you is the condition of the wick as it currently is. My heater at the moment is currently empty of gas and I'm going to show you that by running the fuel completely out of your kerosene heater it will uh, it will actually clean the wick. Now when I first came across the heater it wasn't this particular wick, it was the wick before. I have already changed it out and ran it a few times and got it to where it was before, to that charred look. And once it becomes charred, the kerosene doesn't want to absorb into the top of the, the wick where it normally burns from, and getting it to light or stay lit is virtually impossible. But if you notice, it doesn't look overly charred at the moment. And when I say charred, I mean black, pure black, like charcoal almost, and hard as a rock. And this is how the wick is now. I burnt all the fuel out of the stove last night. And if you notice, you look at that, you have a nice cotton wick still. It's pretty soft. And you don't get that if you shut the, the stove off early. So what we try to do is try to figure out exactly how long I plan on burning my kerosene heater and I'll only fill up that much fuel. What I'll do is say, oh, six, seven o'clock or so, I'll fill it up to where it's about a third to a half full maybe, maybe less than that. I, I stay up a little bit late, but uh, I'll fill it up to where it'll only run for a few hours and then I'll let it burn out completely. And this is the condition I my wick is in after doing so. Well, the reason why I'm doing this video is because I had a heck of a time trying to get this kerosene heater uh, functioning once it was to the point of the wick was in, was in the condition it was in. So I hope there's somebody out there that may be in my position that this video can help so that they can avoid some of the pain that I've had to go through. All right, well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time, this is Joe. See ya.